Hey party people, you ready for some crazy ass shit? Then let's go to hell! So yeah, Bloodstained Sanctuary B1. Apparently a lot of people just straight up refer to this as hell. <laughs> Welcome to hell! Well, well then. Yeah, I have to get back up. Oh, it sucks that it's gonna be shaking like that the entire time. Oops. I, I wanted to boost last minute. But it's okay, because we're saved right there. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna get through this during this round, so I guess we'll just see how far I can get. Oh! Did you know that the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? Yeah, his name was Balos. And like his sister, he possessed magical powers that no man had. Told us about that before. Oh man, what should I try to level up? I assume this thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I have to be ready to get up during that. So I gotta save a boost. Seems better to just let yourself fall on that little spike pile rather than risk the instant death ones. Oh, you actually get a life capsule. Oh, there's Curly! Uh, 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 oh man. <laughs> I blew it. I was pretty close though. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was close. I gotta save a spurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insufficient. Yes! Alright, Curly, I'm gonna get to you, girl. He led and protected the people with his magical power. They loved and trusted him, even more than their own king. Oh man. I still have the tow rope! Oh boy, okay, so there's falling rocks. Um, um, hello. Some kind of cherub thing? Oh boy. I assume the bigger ones are insta-death. Nothing to do but go for it. Jealous of Balos, the resentful king caught and imprisoned him. His punishment was severe and cruel. Humans truly are terrible creatures. They can be. They can also be pretty good, though. Capable of being all things. Balos was driven into a state of pure, uncontrollable rage by the punishment. Weakened by the torture, he was helpless to contain the fury. The king and kingdom were swallowed by Balos's wild, magical force. The life that he loved so dearly was turned into ruins in a single night, shrouded only by fiery hot ashes. Well, shit. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> I think it. 
Oh, Curly's shooting with me! Oh, that's awesome! My girl. <laughs> she has like an upgraded machine gun. Where'd you get that, Curly? I'm proud of you. I think, yeah, she actually has more firepower than me. Unless I'm, you know, fully charged up. Oh, he's firing little arrows. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Everything's so topsy-turvy. Everything is upsy-daisy topsy-turvy. Everyone is acting crazy. What are, look at those big, like, ogre angel things. Ooh, they have quite a bit of health. Okay. Oh, their swords, like, reflect my shots. Oh shit, it's a bomb. Someone set us up the bomb. It's interesting that they blink green like that. Like, are they just disguising themselves as cherubs or something? Dang. Oh, I don't think I'm even hurting it. <laughs> Driven insane by his punishment, Balos was confined to the floating island in the sky by his sister, Jenka. That was all she could do. For Jenka, killing her own younger brother would be impossible. Wow. Jenka, how long have you been alive? I'm gonna go ahead and use this, because I don't think there's a save point after this, so we might as well give it a shot and see how far we can get. up getting sick of it. I like it a lot. It feels very much like what TV tropes would refer to as earn your happy ending. exactly what the slot is for. Okay. Give me those hearts, motherfucker. I'm wiping everything because I need all the resources I can get. part looks bad. <laughs> He's gonna let Curly do her butt fire. 
Oh no! Oh, it didn't actually kill me. Jenka's witch daughter, Misery, is to blame for the demon crown. She forced Balos to create it. Because of this offense, she was cursed by the crown, compelled to obey whoever possesses it. The curse can be lifted if the demon crown is destroyed. However... Oh, did she want him to make the crown? Because it's like, you know, what humans did to you was completely unacceptable and we should get revenge on them. But the crown was... was evil. It was filled with hate. I don't know if that's true. That's just my guess. I guess you want to just run away from those things. Are you still not awake, buddy? What's with that differently colored one? Oh no! Oh, I'm revealing more of it as I heard it. Yes, yeah, I can't kill those little guys going around the edge. The demon crown will be restored anew an infinite number of times so long as Baus's heart still beats. That is the supreme magical power of his eternally enraged soul. It is intrinsically imbued into his evil creation, the demon crown. So we gotta kill Balos. What are all these doors? They won't open. Is this one the same? Oh! Statue chamber. Wait, are we back in the... What? Oh yeah, we were in this passage before when we went to the statue chamber, so that door that won't open leads to the plantation. I see. Corridor. <gasps> Please kill my master! Doing so will liberate misery from her eternal curse. This is the only way that an occurrence of that a recurrence of the tragedy can be stopped. My master's name is Balos. He is a man who cannot die. His magic is beyond any control. Oh no, I'm sorry, I have so little health left. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Welcome. I am Balos. Long, long ago I allowed my drive for magical power to grow recklessly without fear of enduring any retribution. A magic so powerful that even its own master was helpless to contain it. So furious and unstoppable was, was his force that its fire consumed the child who adored me and the wife who loved me. They were swallowed by its flames and suffered dearly, all because of my selfish transgression. My eyes were affixed and I was unable to turn away from the fiery horror created with my own magic. It, I could only laugh then. Jenka sealed me away with my magic raging more violently with each passing minute. I've waited long for this, for the person who will bring my immense magical fury to its end. Now kill me, or I will kill you. Alright. Hmm. 
next time I will try to save my pot, <laughs> my health pot. Oh, we actually got him a third of the way down, though. Hmm. I don't know, this seems pretty doable. It sucks that you have to do this whole thing every time. It's one of those things that you really just have to get down in muscle memory. <laughs> Oops. That was not the right way to do it. Nor that. enough. Oh, yes! Ooh. We got you, Curly. We love you. Alright, this part wasn't so bad before, but I might have gotten lucky. find like a safe spot and just really wail on these guys and get all your resources up. I guess maybe that spot might have been where we entered. <laughs> I spent too much time messing around there. I guess those things are mostly meant to distract you because it'd be really hard to actually catch them. I guess if you like were below them and shot up, but you really need to get over to the right for the other thing. Fun times. Oh, I need it. that it prevents you from finding a safe space and just staying under it. Oh, I bet if I was really good I could totally farm this area though. But I'm doing more harm than good at the moment. I guess the next area is actually pretty safe. Yeah, this area isn't so bad. Oops. I like that Curly doesn't say anything or whatnot, she's just on your back now, firing away. Oh 
shit. Uh, I hate to use it, but it's better than dying. Yeah, that's right. You weren't expecting Curly Butt. No one expects Curly Butt. There might be some long stretches of video here where I'm not speaking, just because... Well, you see what's going on here. I do want to show what's actually going on in terms of how many tries this takes me or whatnot. But, yeah, I really need to concentrate. I see those guys give very little in terms of Dorito X. Oops. It's the exact opposite of what I needed to do. Don't get sloppy, Mary. shoot up? Does she shoot down? She does. Oh man, I love you, Curly. Kill you with my little stars. If I can do this right, I can get that big guy. Dang it. Going in there? I think it is. Oh, maybe not. I forgot to switch weapons. I don't think I'm doing much better this time in terms of max health. Well, what you gonna do? I think if I do that right, though, I can probably infinitely farm those guys. If I'm, like, dodging the things going around the edge properly while hitting the cherubs. This isn't... I don't know, I'm, I'm not getting the impression that this is that undoable. Obviously, I'm on beginner. Or easy. I don't want to keep calling it the other thing.
But everyone was all like, good luck, you're gonna need it. That shit's impossible. And it doesn't seem impossible. It just seems like a challenge. Like a real ass challenge. Honestly, that right there is the hardest part, and they front load it so that, you know, like it'd be, I'd be much more mad about it if it was at the end. <laughs> but because you can just try that thing as many times as you want and come right back, it's not too bad. Just need to get past this part. Get the fuck out of here. Do rocks fall over here? Yes, they do. See ya. <laughs> fuck that noise. Alright. Dang it. Okay. I know some are gonna come out of there soon. Yeah. Oh, oops. God, that was really sloppy. I deserved that one. Ugh. Dumb. Yeah, but what is this segment? Like, maybe two minutes? It requires perfection, but it's not that long, so it's not that bad. I'm okay with it. But again, I am playing on easy. Oops. I wonder why that's called the 290 counter. Maybe it expects you to finish in under 2 minutes 90 seconds. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I don't even want to know what speedrunners get on this. Alright. go. No problem. And this part, fucking whatever. Okay. Look careful this time, Mary. Have you learned nothing? I just realized I said 2 minutes 90 seconds, but that's not even how you would time that. I guess if anything it would be 290 seconds. Which would be what? Uh, a little under 6 minutes? No, a little under 5 minutes, right? Maybe that is what it is. But yeah, whatever. You little shitholes. Oh, I see. I was wondering why I didn't notice those before. It's because they're hidden under those damn blocks. Tricky, tricky. Damn. I gotta use my pot. I did get further this time, though. Farther. so stupid. And I had full health, too. Oh, man. Ugh. I deserve that one, too, though. Yeah, here, you guys. There's too many of you. It's illegal. Where's your parents? I think that's the most health I've gotten to this part with. Haha. -ha. That was really stupid. 
I don't know what I was thinking there, to be honest. I just noticed that we didn't get all those messages again, so I guess it does know that we got through this part before. It saves that aspect of it somewhere. Okay, I did much better that time. Are you gonna have a phase two? Yeah, of course you are. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> well, that sure is a thing. Oh man, I gotta really try to get to him with my potion. But we'll see. Dang it, I still had to use my potion before the boss this time. But I have my max level sword. So let's see. I think I can actually infinitely farm health here as long as I am very careful about those guys rolling along the edges, which obviously I'm not. <laughs> Bad job. This is totally doable though. I just need to do it right. Thank god I died. I was just doing that for like 20 minutes. My thumb is completely destroyed. You can do it though. I do think that is a good way to actually like max all of your weapons. The timing is just really difficult because the you have to be paying attention to both the rotations and the cherubs coming out. And either one can get you, and they don't give you a lot of health back. But it is very doable, goddammit. Because if I could go into that final boss fight with all of my weapons maxed and full health, that would just be completely bitchin'. That'd be a dream. I actually should probably take a break to rest my eyes and my thumb. 
That, was, that shit was ridiculous. Oh, interesting. I took a break and closed the game, so I guess now that I reopened it, it's giving me those messages again. So I guess it only saves the fact that you saw them already, uh, as long as you keep the game open. Alright, it's not he full health, but it's not bad. It's very good, actually. I haven't used my health potion yet. It's no good. We'll give it our best shot, though. Flying and shooting around are just so hard to do at the same time. Or aiming while flying. Well, here we go again. It is a little frustrating, because I know if I could just do, like, that boss battle before him perfect, then I would be completely set up. But I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it perfect. We are human, after all. Alright, I managed to make it with my health pot, but not doing super great otherwise. These are only level 2. Mm. Let's see how this goes. I have a feeling you're supposed to be dodging that with the booster, but friggin' I can't do that shit. And here comes the next phase. I can't even see anything that's going on, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was inevitable. <laughs> Oh man, so full disclosure, this is a new day that I am back to working on this. I, I, I'm, I'm a little frustrated because I got so, you know, close. But I guess that, that's, that's how it is. You get to the final boss and then you gotta, you gotta also learn the final boss. But I'm still confident I can do this. Though I was thinking about, like, if I was on normal, I don't think I could do this at all. Like, it would just be too much with the taking twice the damage that I'm taking now. And part of that's really frustrating to me, because I'm trying to understand, like, how do I feel about the fact that this is something that not everyone could do? Because, like, in the case of Undertale and Sans, right? which is the obvious comparison for someone like me. Uh, it didn't feel too bad if I wasn't able to do it, because like everything about it, it reinforced the fact that you weren't supposed to be doing it. <laughs> so it felt like, you know, even if it was impossible, it's like, well, that tracks. But here it's like, if, if, if you don't do this, you're basically screwing everyone over. Like, there's characters like Curly who only survive if you do this. So, so the idea that I would maybe 
Like if I played the game originally, without the easy mode being a thing, I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. I don't like that. I guess as, also as like a someone who makes stories, per se, it feels weird that you would make like this very like not bonus aspect of a story. Like this is like some crucial stuff to you know some crucial backstory and whatnot. And most of most of the people that play your game wouldn't be able to get it. It feels a little a little sad. I guess this is a different mindset. And and I guess there's always like. This was made on the era of the internet, so obviously people are going to be able to look it up if they really need to. I don't know, I was just getting all contemplative about it. But it's also hard to talk while I'm doing this shit, because i got to concentrate. <laughs> okay, I have full health. Dang it. This part is so frustrating, because... Like, all the resources fall into those spikes. It's so mean. Maybe there is a way to get them over to where there's no spikes and you can actually collect all that shit. Alright, I need to get my sword back up. I've gotten pretty good at grinding this, though I can't do it infinitely. I will always eventually like lose my pattern and just have to give up. Yeah, that's no good. I'll go practice some more. I really wish you didn't have to read this every single time. got to fight him a little bit though. Holy shit, so I actually got down with full health, almost, and my health pot. I'm very scared though. Also my thumb hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself like hyper car carpal tunnel doing this shit. But, oh my sword's leveled down just a little bit, it's not max level anymore. So I guess I'll mostly stick to this guy. Okay, Ballas, I don't want to hear any of it. Do I have to listen to you? I hate you. Yeah, 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 you're real mad about all the- all the shit. Mm-hmm. You got- you got a rough deal, son. But you know what? You're a poo-poo man. And I will destroy you. Dang it! Lightning bolts, lightning bolts. <gasps> okay, 
on to phase two, and I'm still, I still have my pot. Shit. I gotta get on top of him. I did some reading up, and you have to hit his eyes specifically. Dang it, dang it. It's so hard to do. Yeah, you have to like land right there on his eyes and get him. That's right, there's another phase. This guy is just unending bullshit. Why would it let me go off camera like that? That's very mean. All of them? It looks like all of them. Oh shit, this is the final phase. Yeah, I looked it up. He's gonna go all fucking crazy. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, the, oh, it's nothing but spikes down here.
I was really risking it at the end there. Did I... Did I do it? It stopped. The island has stopped falling. Was the negative power weakened with his defeat? I don't really get it, but whatever. Maybe our work here is finally over. Can't breathe. What? I... Hot. I... It's hot. So painful. The wall! Help. Can't breathe. So hot. We're both going to be crushed in here! Hey! It's Balrog! Finally! There you are, just like Misery said. You came here to save us! Hold on tight. Here we go. How is your head? A little beat up. Ah! He's a flying toaster! His true destiny. Such a narrow escape. I thought I was scrap metal this time. Looks like we owe you yet another one. There's no need for that. I did what Misery asked. Misery? As in that witch? Yep. Doesn't she hate us? Wait, don't you hate us? You two defeated Balos. Our curse was lifted thanks to you. Misery and I no longer have to listen to orders from anyone. I thought you were a bad guy, but it was just because of the demon crown. We asked for it. You have to remember, it was Misery who had Balos make the crown. Eh, really? I didn't know that. Yep. What, you didn't read the narration text, Curly? <laughs> and now? Now? What are you gonna do now? <laughs> I can take you anywhere. Well, since you asked, our mission's complete, so I want to live somewhere calm with a nice view. <laughs> Pardon me, but, um... Yes? Can I go with? <laughs> sure! All three of us, we can live together for sure. Really? You can even pick the spot where we all live. But take us someplace nice. Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, hang on tight! <laughs> Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> nope, I decided to take you with me, man. Cause you're my little friend. Ah, uh, there we are, we're flying. <laughs> Sometimes reliable, brother, Kazuma. Ah, oh, there's Bellows. Yeah! Two of us working together. That's not exactly how it was, though. She was tied to me. <laughs> you guys, you don't even seem intimidating anymore. You were so easy. And Misery, did, did you just not want to come say hi to us? I didn't notice before that this is where you're blasting off into the final battle. Ah, there's where we were climbing, and it was so not the worst thing I've ever done. Like this was. Yeah, I was god. I was able to do that. I don't think I could have done it on normal. I mean, I guess with, you know, weeks of practice I could have done it on normal, but I only got so much time in the day. So I'm very glad that easy mode exists, and I was able to actually do this. I mean, it was still fucking hard. It was still really fucking hard. Like, I guess I guess I spent longer learning the Sans fight, but for some reason it didn't feel quite as hard. It was mostly just memorization and determination. <laughs> Jenka's powerful younger brother, Balos. But this was just like, you had to be so skilled. You had to be so freaking good. <laughs> I was watching a... Um, run through. Oh, they're, they're. Oh, wait, that's Shadow Balrog. Or that ghost thing, and now it's helping. But I was watching a run of someone doing it on hard mode, and it's just like, you know, the perfect timing. That, that Those are skills I just don't have. <laughs> Again, it feels a little weird that, that they don't let you save everyone unless you have, you know, crazy ass mad skills. But at least, at least here you have the easy mode. 
Oh, someone pointed out that those those babies are dragon zombies, so I guess it would have been fine to kill them because they're zombies anyway. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Boot and Mesa, Green Devil, rolling. <sighs> so I guess this is actually the finale now. We friggin' did it. Goes in the clinic, Pooh Black. Still very mysterious. So yeah, I guess Balrog was just a creation of misery or someone? It's not super clear. Oh, there he is. But now he's free. Free to be a flying toaster. The swollen mech. Hayden Madness made flesh, Balos. <sighs> this really is, like, considering when this game was made. I mean, obviously, this is the upgraded version. But, like, the depth and thought and, like, interesting little quirks that went into this game are just really impressive. Like, good job, Pixel Jesus. This was before there was, like, a really clear model for this stuff. <gasps> Misery! You looking all cool, hair blown in the wind, you're free now! You can do whatever the fuck you want! So yeah, I'm really glad that I played it and finally understand what it's all about. Yeah! Now we got all these guys with us. We freaking did it. Even the, the little gun maker guy. Oh jeez, my thumb. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching and, and going through this journey with me. It's going to be a shit show of an editing job. Oh my god, I have so many hours of footage. I, or I guess maybe in terms of stuff I actually recorded, maybe like four hours. I didn't record absolutely all the parts of runs I was going through there. But yeesh. <laughs> Um, I don't know when I'm gonna do another Let's Play. I definitely won't do one immediately because I need to need to rest these hands and get some other more pertinent work done. But seriously, thank you once again for joining me on another game journey, and it was a great time for me. I hope it was a great time for you as well. Wink.